be great, but Aaron Green is racing back here, and I'm sure they want to try and double up on Burns, and they're probably right to do so because he's been very, very effective in that position. As he broke into the team, and then Chris Forrester shoot this with his left foot. He won't. He's tried to slide one through to Billy King. Oh, it's over the crossbar by King. Quite a bit over in the end. Of course, hot the heels off those two goals. Up front. Rovers do though still have men in the box. That's a good clearance by Tom Bravosti. Is that a foul? Referee says it's not. And Aaron Green wants to shoot this with his left foot. And it's just bounced up on Joseph Anna and Gary will tell us more, but those ones sometimes be difficult for goalkeepers. George of Moldova and Mura of Slovenia in the UEFA Conference League second qualifying round. The first leg will be here at Richmond on the 21st of July with the second leg away a week later. St. Pat's of course getting the boy into the second round of Europe. Oh, Lopez, oh, what an effort. What an opportunity, and the goalkeeper just managed to shovel it around the post. That would have been yeah, an unbelievable... Burns has doubled up and trebled up with oh, Owen Doyle could be in here, sorry Gary, it's a nice pass by Jack Scott. And Doyle's going to get it across to Mark. Oh, Mark Doyle, then to Billy King, and I'm not sure if King was just a yard ahead of the ball. But a devastating counter-attack, and more of the same. I think an enjoyable evening for everyone in attendance, and the rain has held off, thankfully. Yeah, the second half has started well as well, there have been a couple of chances, Forrester picks it up here for a strike. Oh, he does, and it's Alan Manis. Forrester with the left foot from 25, 30 yards. And, and here he goes again. It's Watts to Gannon, or to Aaron Green, should I say. And back inside to Gaffney, who continued his run. This could be a good opportunity here for Rowe, particularly with Green on the left foot here. Oh, Gannon missed it. He hasn't, though. It's in at the back post. And it is that man, Andy Lyons. We spoke about his danger all night in that left wing back position. It was missed initially, but Lyons was there across the back, celebrate on the far side to score his sixth league goal of the season for Shamrock Rovers, who lead here 1 0 against St. Pat's. Yeah, it's a terrific finish by Andy Lyons, and how important was Dylan Watson the build up, you know, from the start, from the touch he took in the centre of the park, and then to not just taking that touch and playing it together, but to move into midfield and not admire his pass. Got minutes to go, St. Pat's probing for an equaliser King in a good position, he wants to shoot he does and Alan Manis gets there and just has to scoop it away, similar to the chance that Anang saved in the first half just bounced in front of the goalkeeper and in the end Gary knows better than me but he did very well to make sure there was no spill into a reboundable area for St. Pat's. Yeah look that, that really dipped in front of him, there was a lot of pace on the ball as well so he'd be happy to get that, that out away from danger We'll check it out again in just a second. Same with live pictures now because it's Rovers going from defence to attack in the form of Aaron Green. Lyons is racing forward here. Gary O'Neill is up. Dylan Watts is up and Gaffney is there as well. It's a lovely nutmeg by Green. He was dragged by Jack Scott. Great advantage by the referee. Oh, what a, oh, what a brilliant finish by Aaron Green. Great referee as well by Rob Hennessy. Green was definitely yeah. fouled. Man has tested there. It's not back. the best pass by Lopez. And is Tunde in here? He is Tunde Owalabi. Oh, it's off the line. What a clearance. I think it's Lee Grace. That is an unbelievable clearance. Lopez. Well, so they've been giving him opportunities there in them games. And he could be right in the league debut today. Yeah, sure is. So congratulations to Justin and his family. But his team are on the attack now. Tyrone and Finn. And that's an unbelievable strike. Oh, I think that was going to threaten to go in initially. But Barry Connor actually ran across it, deflected it, and it nearly hey, Doyle made a nice run off Tunde, but he was just unable to turn his turn now. Though here goes Oalabi. Real great power and pace. Is that a penalty? It is! It anyway. Is there a late sting in the tail here? Because Tunde Oalabi has been felled in the box. Yeah, a bottle of some sort thrown on. It's not what we want to see. Some of them are also pulling the goal net, but anyway, Owen Doyle is ready to go now. Yeah, they're putting lights on on the phone and stuff for them. And he scored. Owen Doyle makes it St. Patrick's Athletic 1, Shamrock Rovers 2. Tunde Olabi wants the ball back. 